Oh, hey, bro. Admit it, right now you're looking at this and you're thinking, I just want to knock that hat off of Rich's head and I don't blame you. In Magic Mike XXL, Channing Tatum wears his hat like this in almost every scene in the movie and it drove me nuts. Yeah, he's in great shape. Yeah, he's playing a bro and he's a dancer and all that stuff, but he's still 35 years old. It looks ridiculous. This movie is so horrible, I felt like I lost 10 points off my IQ by the time I walked out the door. I know, it's just supposed to be a fun, ladies' night out kind of film, but here's the thing. All these guys, including Channing Tatum, and then you got Big Dick Richie, and you got Tarzan, and all the other strippers from the first movie, except for Matthew McConaughey, because he's smart enough not to be in this, they all get together for one last ride. Okay, that's great. They're gonna go to a stripper convention in Myrtle Beach on the 4th of July weekend, which sounds like the most depressing place on earth, a stripper convention on the 4th of July. The dance numbers are fine. These guys are all in great shape, blah, 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 blah. But the painful thing is these guys talk, and they talk, and they talk. And when you're talking about male strippers discussing the meaning of life and what they want to do with themselves, you got to be kidding me. I wanted to take a steaming hot fork and jab it in my leg. It'd be more entertaining than sitting through this movie. It's terrible. It's dopey. Jada Pinkett Smith shows up and overacts the heck out of every scene she's in. Channing Tatum was so good in Foxcatcher, gives the worst performance of his career. Magic Mike, XXL, no, no, no. Okay, so we'll do Terminator Genesis and then we'll have a bunch of reviews next week as well. It'll be a pretty busy week, but I know we're gonna have time I'm to sorry, do it. I'm sorry, I can't hear you with this thing on your head. <laughs> I was getting used to that look. <laughs>